standing on the corner. Hey guys! Well, today on Ratty Rambles, I'm going to discuss uh, basic care for rats. You know, if the rat, or if a pet rat is right for you, pet rats, plural. Um, first off, I want to discuss uh, where would you get one? Now, there's a number of places you can get a rat, including pet stores, breeders, adoption agencies, you know. Play, like rat rescues or pet finder or craigslist but you don't always know you know the background or the genetics of the rat and they could be prone to anything really um, but it's better to be adopting out it's pretty much the same deal with you know home buying a dog or adopting a dog you don't necessarily know the genetics or what it's prone to um, another thing is breeders breeders are really well but they usually have long waiting lists which is good because, you know, they socialize their babies real well and they don't have very many litters a year. Well, good breeders don't. Breed, you know, breeders to look out for are the ones who breed their rats continuously and they either sell them to pet stores or they sell them as snake food as well. Those are definite breeders you will probably not, you should not buy from. Um, rescues, like I said, you know, rescuing a rat or adopting. It's up to you to decide, but note that breeders' rats are socialized better. They, uh, you know, their genetic history. You know their parents and their parents' parents, and it's probably traced back, you know, three, four, five generations. And the breeder knows the rats really well, their personal personalities, and only adopt them out in pairs. And that's another thing I wanted. How many do you need for your rats to be happy and healthy? is a minimum of two. Right now I have two rats going on three. Um, and it's a it's a nice number. My cage is big enough for three of them. And I'll soon be ordering a Martin's. But rats are really social and really need that buddy. You should never have a lone rat, not unless it's aggressive towards other rats. And that's all and if you think your rat is aggressive, like if you have one rat and then you introduce immediately and you just throw it in there. Well, of course it's going to feel threatened. Later on I'll do introductions or you can in look up introductions right now. You know, on Google or, you know, just type in rat introductions, how to. And you should get a lot of useful information. You don't ever just throw a new rat from the pet store, you know, in the cage of your old rat. Because that will cause territorial issues and there's going to be fighting and blah, blah, blah. Um, Male or female? Well, I personally have female because when I got one, I got a single rat, and then later on I added a female, uh, another one from a pet store, which is what you don't want to do. And I didn't do quarantine, and I got really lucky on that one. But there have been lots of people who got really lucky on that as well. Uh, when you get a new rat, you should quarantine it and blah, blah, blah. But um, anyways, male and female. Uh, I have three females. And they do wonderfully together. They're in a cage, and um, well, two females are. My other one's still in quarantine right now. But um, you know, you should get two, three, four rats and cages. What you need for a cage? Um, definitely always get the wire bars or wire cages. Never ever get the tanks unless you're using them for quarantine cages. Um, nursery cages, medic, uh, medical cages, you know, cages that are housing mamas or sick ratties, not even sick ratties, you know, ratties that may have an injury or, or on quarantine and those, need, those cages need to be wiped down every single day because their urine could build up in the tank and since there's little to no airflow in there, the, um, the rat's urine builds up and it causes respiratory issues, which you really don't want. Uh, bedding. I use fleece for my bedding just because I know it's safer and in the end it winds up being a lot cheaper than buying, you know, Carefresh from the local pet store. And the thing with Carefresh is you should always freeze it for 72 hours or so and then take it out, let it thaw, and then give it to rats to freeze, you know, any mites that might carry or diseases from the pet store if they do sell pets. Uh, food. The best kind of food to get for rats are the lab locks. 
Rats should never, never be fed the seed mixes. Those are so unhealthy for them. They have the corn pieces, which are toxic to them, or can be. And sunflower seeds are just fatty foods for them. It's just incredibly unhealthy. And they pick out what they want to eat and leave what they don't. Um, you saw she'll give them small amounts of veggies and fruits and healthy foods for them each day. Because who doesn't want healthy veggies, dude? Um, vet. Vet care is a big thing on radies because when you get radies, normally they aren't really bred well. You get them from pet stores or, you know, rescuers who do the best they can, but they don't know the genetic, you know, makeup of them, whether they be prone to tumors, which is really, really common in rats, especially females. They get the pituitary tumors and the mammary tumors, and they can get um, infections and upper respiratory infection and... Um, what is it called? There's another thing I'm thinking of. Um, I'll get back to that later. But, uh, vet, vet bills and, you know, visits to the vet. If your rat may be sneezing and has porphyrin under its eyes, which kind of looks like bloody tears, or they're just little reds on their nose and their eyes. Little, you know, irregular amounts of porphyrin is okay normally but if there's excessive amounts and you can see it under their eyes under their nose you should probably take them to the vet or do the ratty telephone which I will get into depth later on but right now I'm uh, just you know doing basic are rats right for you uh, time rats need at least at least an hour half an hour and a half outside the cage each day Especially if they're younger, they need to burn off that energy because they're inside the cage and they want to run around, you know, in your room. You can either set up a designated area or have a room or, you know, you can keep them on your bed, but never, you should probably never put them in balls. Not probably, you should never put them in balls. Not only do rat spines not curve like this, uh, their eyesight is even more impaired than it already is. And it's really not healthy because any animal should never be put in a ball for more than 30 or pardon me 15 minutes because the urine could build up if they peed in there um, toys rats are relatively easy to uh, entertain but they love hammocks and later on I'll get on how to make hammocks and blah 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 that is if you still want to have rats but you know basically rats are time-consuming they cost lots not a lot of money, but you should always prepare for vet visits, and you should always make sure there is a vet, a rat vet in your town, someone who probably specializes in it, and you need to prepare for rats, you know, um, wires, you know, they chew stuff up, and you should never hang like a poster or keep a, you know, shirt close to their cage so they can reach out their little ratty hands and chew up your shirt. I've had many a holes in my shirt from teethy little ratty ratties. Pardon me. So, um, well, I guess that's it for now. Um, I hope you decide to adopt rats if it's right for you. So keep in touch, subscribe, rate, comment. Uh, if you ever have any questions, go to either Goose Moose. It's on either side. I don't know which side to point at. Goose Moose, or you can message me I'm always up pretty much most of the time or you can join a rap club or a rap forum anything will do and um, I guess that's it live long and boggle